page 29. Lesson 3. Taro's Reward Before you read, this is a story about a thoughtful and loving son. He works hard to fulfill his parents' wishes and gets some unexpected help. New word in the box, page 29, chopped, cut into pieces. 1. A young woodcutter named Taro lived with his mother and father on a lonely hillside. All day long he chopped wood in the forest. Though he worked very hard, he earned very little money. This made him sad for he was a thoughtful son and wanted to give his old parents everything they needed. Page 30 2. One evening, when Taro and his parents were sitting in a corner of their hut, a strong wind began to blow. It whistled through the cracks of the hut and everyone felt very cold. Suddenly, Taro's father said, I wish I had a cup of sake. It would warm me and do my old heart good. 3. This made Taro sadder than ever, for the heart-warming drink called sake was very expensive. How do I earn more money? He asked himself. How do I get a little sake for my poor old father? He decided to work harder than before. 4. Next morning, Taru jumped out of bed earlier than usual and made his way to the forest. He chopped and cut, chopped and cut as the sun climbed. And soon, he was so warm that he had to take off his jacket. His mouth was dry and his face was wet with sweat. My poor old father, he thought. If only he was as warm as I. And with that, he began to chop even faster, thinking of the extra money he must earn to buy the sake to warm the old man's bones. 5. Then suddenly, Taro stopped chopping. What was that sound he heard? Could it be... Could it be possibly be rushing water? Taro could not remember ever seeing or hearing a rushing stream in that part of the forest. He was thirsty. The aches dropped out of his hands and he ran in the direction of the sound. New words in the box, page 30. Whistled through, passed through with a whistling sound. Cracks, narrow gaps, openings. Sake, a popular Japanese drink. Sa is pronounced like fa in father and k rhymes with we. Expensive, costly. Made his way to, went to. Page 31. 6. Taru saw a beautiful little waterfall hidden behind a rock. Kneeling at a place where the water flowed quietly, he cupped a little in his hands and put it to his lips. Was it water or was it a seek? He tasted it again and again and always it was a delicious seek instead of cold water. 7. Taro quickly filled the pitcher he had with him and hurried home. The old man was delighted with the seek. After only one swallow of the liquid he stopped shivering and did a little dance in the middle of the floor. New words in the box, page 31. Cupped a little in his hands. Took some water in his hands as if in a cup. Delicious, very tasty. Pitcher, a pot usually made of mud. Page 32. 8. That afternoon, a neighbor stopped by for a visit. Taru's father politely offered her a cup of the sake. The lady drank it greedily and thanked the old man.
Then Taro told her the story of the magic waterfall. Thanking them for the delicious drink, she left in a hurry. By nightfall, she had spread the story throughout the whole village. 9. That evening, there was a long procession of visitors to the woodcutter's house. Each man heard the story of the waterfall and took a sip of the sake. In less than an hour, the pitcher was empty. 10. Next morning, Taro started for work even earlier than the morning before. He carried with him the largest pitcher he owned, for he intended first of all to go to the waterfall. When he reached it, he found to his great surprise all his neighbours there. They were carrying pitchers, jars, buckets, anything they could find to hold the magic sake. Then one villager knelt and held his mouth under the waterfall to drink. He drank again and again and then shouted angrily, Water! Nothing but water! Others also tried, but there was no sake, only cold water. New words in the box, page 32. Greedily, as if desiring more and more. Intended, planned. Page 33. Page 33. New words in the box. Tricked, deceived, muttering, speaking unclearly. 11. We have been tricked, shouted the villagers. Where is Taro? Let us drown him in this waterfall. What? But Taro had been wise enough to slip behind a rock when he saw how things were going. He was nowhere to be found. 12. Muttering their anger and disappointment, the villagers left the place one by one. Taru came out from his hiding place. Was it true? He wondered. Was the sake a dream? Once more he caught a little liquid in his hand and put it to his lips. It was the same fine sake. To the thoughtful son, the magic waterfall gave the delicious sake. To everyone else, it gave only cold water. Page 34 New word in the box, page 34. Sent for, called. 13. The story of Taro and his magic waterfall reached the emperor of Japan. He sent for the young woodcutter and rewarded him with 20 pieces of gold for having been so good and kind. Then he named the most beautiful fountain in the city after Taro. This, said the emperor, was to encourage all children to honour and obey their parents. A Japanese story retold. Working with the text. A. Answer these questions. 1. Why did Taro run in the direction of the stream? 5. 2. How did Taro's father show his happiness after drinking sake? 7. 3. Why did the waterfall give Taro sake and others water? 12. 4. Why did the villagers want to drown Taro? 10. 11. 5. Why did the emperor reward Taro? 13. B. Mark the right item. 1. Taro earned very little money because A. He didn't work hard enough. B. The villagers didn't need wood. C. The price of wood was very low. 2. Taro decided to earn extra money. A. To live a more comfortable life. B. To buy his old father some sake. C. To repair the cracks in the hut. Page 35 3. The neighbour left Taro's hut in a hurry because A. She was delighted with the drink B. She was astonished to hear Taro's story C. She wanted to tell the whole village about the waterfall Working with language A. 
strike off the words in the box here that are not suitable. Taro wanted to give his old parents everything they needed. This shows that he was thoughtful, hardworking, loving, honest, considerate, trustworthy, efficient, kind. B. 1. This made Taro sadder than ever. This refers to A. A strong wind that began to blow. B. Taro's father's old age. C. Taro's inability to buy expensive seik for his father. Mark the right item. 2. This, said the emperor, was to encourage all children to honour and obey their parents. This refers to A. The most beautiful fountain in the city. B. Rewarding Taro with gold and giving the fountain his name. C. Sending for Taro to hear his story. Mark the right item. C. Arrange the words here in pairs that rhyme. Example, young, lung, money, sunny. Young, sad, money, chop, lung, last, wax, could, bad, sound, aches, wood, way, stop, sunny, fast, round, day. Page 36 D. Fill in the blanks with words from the box. Lonely, little, hard, young, thoughtful, delicious, beautiful. A blank woodcutter lived on a blank hillside. He was a blank son who worked blank but earned blank money. One day he saw a blank waterfall hidden behind a rock. He tasted the water and found it blank. 2. Find these sentences in the story and fill in the blanks. 1. This made Taro blank than ever. 3. 2. He decided to work blank than before. 3. 3. Next morning, Taro jumped out of bed blank than usual. 4. 4. He began to chop even blank. 4. 5. Next morning, Taro started for work even blank than the morning before. 10. Speaking and writing. A. Speak the following sentences clearly but as quickly as you can. Learn them by heart. 1. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck would chuck wood? 2. Betty bought a bit of butter, but the bit of butter was a little bitter, so she bought some better butter to make the bitter butter better. B. 1. The story Taro's Reward shows that Taro is thoughtful, hardworking and also wise. Read aloud the parts of story that show these qualities in Taro. Page 37 2. 1. Like Patrick in the story, who did Patrick's homework? Taro is helped by magic. Do you believe in magic? What are the magical things that happen in these stories? 2. Which story do you like better and why? Do you know such stories in other languages? Discuss these questions in class. 3. Now write a paragraph or two about these two stories, comparing them. C. 1. Listen to these children. What are they talking about? First child. I think swimming is more difficult than driving. Second child. 
I think it is much less difficult. Third child. Anyhow, neither of them is as difficult as learning English. Two. Work in groups. Come to some agreement on each of the activities given here. Decide which is the most interesting, dullest, most dangerous, safest, most rewarding, most exciting. Column one: cooking, knitting, reading, walking, painting. Column two: fishing, dancing, sewing, swimming, watching TV. Column three: playing football, listening to music, mountain climbing. learning languages stamp collecting page 38 dictation 1 your teacher will speak the words given here write against each two new words that rhyme with it 1 bed blank blank 2 wax blank blank 3 fast blank blank Four, chop, blank, blank. Five, young, blank, blank. Know your country. One, which are the two states that flank New Delhi's borders? And two, name the states through which the Narmada flows. Answers on page.